Good evening and welcome to the San Juan North Secondary Schools Ground here in Bugmalatris. A sunny evening here as Bishops East, they match up against San Juan North Secondary. I'm Gordon Peer together with me, the legendary Sid Gray. Good evening, Sid. Good evening, Mr. Peer. It's a lovely day for football. Good to see some sunshine out today. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> after this weekend where there were numerous... Uh, postponements of games and of course we were under storm watch even school was postponed yesterday but we are back here out and the young ladies they're in the semi-finals of the east zone intercall we have in blue sorry blue in, in red in red sorry. in red, yeah. in red. Uh, like i'm getting colorblind in red we have the bishops east girls they are in red and the san juan North team yeah they are in their blue yeah red. yellow outfits they're green <laughs> the, the green outfit. <laughs> it seems like I'm, I'm confusing the colors. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Sophia, I need to get your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, but a bit of humor as we begin to start here. Yeah. Well, we've got the starting lineups for you. For San Juan North, we've got in gold number 22, Moisha Cox. The number 13, Tiana Williams. The number two, Roxiana Rondo. The number eight, Kenya Williams. The number 16, Kamara Mitchell, number 18, Latifa Nicholas, the number 19, Shemaya Hospitalis, the number 10, the captain, Shania Antoine, the number 15, Kinora Felix, the number 7, Afisha Jacob, and round of the starting lineups, we've got Kaylee Gilding, that's the starting lineup for the Sawa North team, they'll be kicking from left to right on your screen. For Bishops East, we've got in goal, sporting number 21 jersey. We've got Rinelli Rinelli Headley, the number two, Jadel Percival, the number three, Elizabeth Ligans, the number five, Rinelli Charles, the number six, Megan Briggs, the number seven, the impressive Oriel Martin, the number eight, Emily Harilal, the number nine, Amory Modest, the number ten, Zara Stout, the number 12. In fact, the number 7, sorry, Marella Edwards. The number 13, Kady Robinson. And that rounds off the starting lineups as we've got the kickoff. So the ball kicked long. And the captain just coming across and just playing it short. Shaking off the challenge there, we have Gilding. But the ball goes out of play and it's going to be uh, throwing for bishops. So, Sid, this is going to be a pretty interesting clash. I think the game is going to hinge on the ability of uh, Sawano to control the impressive number seven, Martin. Uh, she's on the ball early here, showing her early skill as she's with pass one. And the ball goes out. It's going to be an early corner here. So, that Onelam. Martin, she's going to be very, very important to this game for the San Juan, for the Bishops East team. Well, yes, Mr. Gordon here. Um, I'm, I'm watching the, the, the outfield as well. I know it will be a bit heavy as well. So I would like to see how well the ball will be rolling on, on, on the pitch. So we see Briggs. Look at her delivery. Ball banged across. And that's a good early tackle. Oh, and going for a good run here. We see as she gets the ball forward. Williams. Oh, and she's brought down. Strong <laughs> challenge there. Uh, uh, by a Percival. That was a brilliant run there from the back. Yeah, it's a, it's a telling run there. By Tia Williams. Tia Williams. And standing over the ball, she can't deliver the ball. Kenya Williams um, just dragged wide there, trying to go for glory there. Now the Bishop's team they spot the ball and they bring it from the back. It's going to be played short. You can expect that nine out of ten times here this afternoon. 
Briggs. Martin, she's not going to lose possession here. Just tripped up. Yeah, very impressive. Sid. Sid, this young lady, she plays. I don't want to compare her to any other um, gender, but she's definitely a dominant force in this Bishop's team. Yes, she seems to have, 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 have the skill to be a, a very dangerous player here. Yeah, well, it's going to be a free kick here for San Juan North. They'll try to get forward. They'll be looking to hit on the counter. If there's any uh, weakness in this Bishop's team against a team such as San Juan North, will be the speed. So that ball is played through. Williams. Williams, she's in the area. Uh, and that ball just going out of play. It's going to be a goal kick there. Good ushering, good defensive work there by Robinson. Kadeen Robinson just ushering her out. And the skip and the keeper, Headley. She so you're gonna see the same play over and over and over. Look at Comfrey, they, they'll try to get the bricks. Now this time they go a bit longer. Ball goes out, it's gonna be a throw in. Uh, so the intercolor, it's where all the action takes place, where any number could play. You know, any team could be the victor. It's all about heart. It's all about soul. The Coca-Cola. That, that's the beauty of knockout, yeah. We're seeing uh, as they get closer to the, the knockout stages in the World Cup. Today, some teams packing their bags hmm. and heading home. Some will be staying on for a longer stay. <laughs> well, Senegal earlier today, they ensured that their stay was not over as they dispatched Ecuador. So in Ecuador home, they'll be joined by the Netherlands. Uh, Quata, they, they just stay at home. They take a, a bus and, and disperse <laughs> to their, their home. They say the first host team to leave the first round without scoring a goal. The advantage played here. Martin has stayed down. Slow to get up. But that's the, the impressive skipper. She's going for a run. And then coming back and doing the defensive work there is Edwards, Marilla Edwards. The defensive midfielder, the number seven for Bishops. Martin has stayed down. Not normal for her to stay down. And that will be a great concern to this Bishops East team. <laughs> She seems to be the one that's very competent on the ball, very... She seems to be holding something though. Her knee. Yeah. Sometimes that could just be a little knee to knee. It could be very, very painful. It's a little eyes. Sometimes it'll just bring you back to normal. Uh, you know, it's the eyes or the magic spray. The magic spray. The physio walking with Nida. She looks though at her. She signals for the magic spray. <laughs> uh, uh, the... Because Martin, she loves to be on the pitch. She's just ushered out. So it's going to be a bump ball. And that ball just aimed there at Nichols. Nicholas. Martin tries to re-enter the game. That's a good sign for the Bishop's girls. We're seeing... Yeah, the uh, Americans, they lead Iran. One goal to nil here. Goal by Pulisic. But here at the San Juan North grounds, where the ladies take center stage. That ball just cleared out of field. Our own World Cup here. Yes, <laughs> Renel Charles. She knocks it out. So if you're just joining us, you're watching the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Coca-Cola Intercol action. It's the East Zone, the semifinals. It's San Juan North. They're up against Bishops East. Ball thrown in. Briggs wins out. Trying to pass the ball. And then losing out. 
But Martin trying to take things into her own hands. Looking for a call from the referee. None coming. It's going to be a throw in though. So they're not giving her any room to work her magic. Well, if she's the best player, seems to be one of the best players, they need to pay close attention to her, and that's what they are doing. And and that's very smart of them. Long upfield. Marilla Edwards there, trying to get her players going. And then it's a foul throw. So running across to what, the well, Mr. Peer, what I'm seeing here, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for the future for, for Trinidad and Tobago women's football. Yeah, you know, we have, we have covered a number of the, the women's game in this, the, both the intercall and the league. And you're seeing lots of nuggets, beautiful players who could really go to the next level if put in the right and environment. And, that, and that's what we need to, to try to get organized here in Trinidad and Tobago, get the right people in the right places. That's a good ball through. A nice one too. Oh, but just coming on winning out is Charles. And Bishops try to get their passing game going. They haven't gotten it going just yet. San Mono, they have been on the offensive. Their skipper, Shania Antoine, the number 10. She's been more influential. Martin, she's always have a two, three, four company. Now Edwards get the opportunity. She can kick the ball, so she's going to be looking to dump it long, trying to bring Stout, who's been a, a mere spectator, into it. Falls to Martin. And she looking to go past. She goes past about four. And then the ball across. It falls to Stout. Stout with the opportunity. The keeper comes out quickly off a line. Good goalkeeping. Brave goalkeeping by Cox. So you're just seeing a glimpse of what Martin can do. Look at it again. Yes. Great piece of skill there. Great pass. But just the touch. And just let her down there. A heavy touch by that Stout. Scout. Edwards. She's normally the big defensive midfielder. But they're coming for a run. And that's a beautiful ball. Williams is going to be the first to this. She's quickly through. And then she just barges <laughs> into the, the back there of the defender, uh, smart, Robinson. Smart piece of defending there. Get between the ball and the, defend, and the, and the attacker. Yes, definitely. She got her body between the woman and, and the ball. Yes. And was able to gain the foul. Robertson, she passed there. It was the Samoa team backing off. They want them to put it long. And then they're able to win out. Ball played through. And not allowing this battle between Robertson and Briggs. She's also quite good. Today playing a bit deeper. And that's a good ball through. Going for a bit of a foot race here. I think she took that shot a bit too early. She could have taken at least two more touches. Yeah, she definitely had uh, two more touches. Because she, she had a lot more pace to outrun the defense there. Briggs, she's coming more into the game. And just bundled over there by Kiana Williams. From this distance, watch the left boot of a Martin. From this distance, Martin. Oh, the ball just played a little bit out. But again, by the referee. The officials in this game the, the man in the center Stephen Jones the referee is the air one Randolph Lynch so Martin she can hit the ball with both feet shot That's from the start great shot there yes flashing wide so Martin asking questions of goalkeeper Cox so say the I think someone someone not see have to keep a close eye on her do not let her shoot this ball she's hitting this ball very hard Edwards. Oh, in the area. And then she just pushed off of it. Good defensive work there by Jacob. But then Martin, she goes to work. <laughs> Look at her again. Ball cleared. 
but they still haven't gotten it out of the danger area. Jacob though with a bit of a heavy touch and strong tackle there by Martin. Martin Martin seems to have the magic feet. Yeah, she's. I saw her play a couple games and I was very very impressed and I'm not easily impressed, but she has the ability. I, I think with proper coaching and in the right environment, she can go on to the next level of football. She just needs to put it in the right, right, right perspective and the right environment. I'm, I'm seeing here. She just needs to keep her focus on. Yeah. And she to. has the ability to do very well. Just falling out here. It may be a bit too far out here for uh, Edwards. Um, not for Edwards, for Martin. Edwards, though, she can hit the ball as well. Yeah, Marella Edwards. And if I was the coach, I would allow her to go for goal. Uh -huh. Yeah, just dragging it wide. So just about 13 minutes gone in this one. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Tiger Tank Secondary School's inter Coca Cola Intercol action. It's the East Zone, the girls' semi final. San Juan North. In green, they're up against Bishops East in the red. Uh, the goalkeeper Cox just going to collect the ball as they spot the ball and begin their attack. Nice short pass there to Mitchell. Mitchell bangs the field, but only as far as oh Edwards, <laughs> a miss kick, but then coming across and cleaning things up. Strong de defensive challenge there by Gilding, and she stays down. The physio is up as they try to call her out. So the coach just giving out some instructions. The coach, yeah, the coaching team, a combination of ladies. Jada Noriega and Tiana Williams just giving out some instructions telling the Morella to get her body behind the ball. One of the basics, Sid. Yes, must get the body behind the ball. I think. So we're just about 15 minutes gone, uh, Sid. Your early impressions of this one? Well, I have to say it, uh, even contest here. Yeah. I'm forced to agree with you. I even contest, but I, I think the edge just seems to lie with bishops at this present moment. Earlier on, uh, San Juan, their pace seems to be getting the, giving the bishops' back line um, some problem. But I think uh, the, this has been rectified a bit. Well, yes. Williams. Ball play through. The keeper came and stopped. Good save. And it is hit to the back of the net. So... San Juan North, they draw first blood. Antoine, Shania Antoine, the keeper, came and stopped Headley. She was left in no man's land. She made the initial save, but Antoine followed up and put it into the back of the net. That's a great ball. She came from behind. But I think if the keeper had advanced, yeah. she could have received that ball but yeah. she did she just keep backing back like an angel yeah she Free fish <laughs> she she came and then she stopped Stop. yeah had she continued she'd have been able to make a, a easy Save, yes. yeah but again just as we were saying uh, the pace over uh, the salmon north yes. uh, attackers giving that bishop back line some problems as gilding tries to clear goes out it's gonna be a throwing so bishops Dale try to get back in this one. The, the bishop defense line is very seems to be very slow, but the sour front three four are very quick. Yeah, seems to have a lot of pace. Yeah, the, pace for on the, on their side. Yeah, so it's and they are using it to their advantage as well. Yeah, definitely. I think bishops will sooner or later have to go to having a sweeper to just cover that back line. The problem with sweepers is that if the sweeper is not as quick or can't read the game as early as the, it le leaves a lot of people onside and able to make run in telling areas it's Martin watches uh, they just usher her off the ball she's still coming ball into the area Cox easy handle for her she's gonna use her whole area and then punt it downfield Robinson good defensive header 
Williams and then it's played out there by Edwards so San Juan North they lead this one one goal to nil a goal scored by the captain Shania Antoine taking the throw in a Jacob uh, Williams and winning for Sir Martin <laughs> you know what she's gonna do she has three for company and trying to do a, a bit, bit too much, much. Yeah. she needs to bring up teammates into it try to play play the ball and do the damage further upfield she's holding on the ball a bit too too much for me too high okay. so, she needs to understand that she she has to put it in an area where she, there's danger the captain there oh she's brought down by briggs the advantage played and then it was when it was lost good refereeing there by the referee uh stephen jones from this distance kenya williams she can hit the ball the goalkeeper headley though in goal renelli headley she is pretty competent so i i don't think uh, that she'll be too worried here but williams she can hit the ball let's look at her delivery that's a good shot just over the stop at the crossbar yeah she definitely can hit the ball that's with her left boot yeah so you you definitely just as we were speaking earlier some diamonds in the rough yes. you know in women's football here yeah, a, uh, there's a lot of diamonds in the rough but we just need to take them to the refinery yeah to smooth them out polish them up yeah. polish them up yeah. and you'll see the real diamonds yeah. shine shining yeah definitely because you're, you're seeing uh, when we talk look at martin that's uh, oriel martin the number 10 she's sporting number 10 jersey uh, yeah she's sporting number 10 jersey there for bishops you're seeing that she's able to do so much with the ball but she's doing it in the wrong areas yes yeah she's not and allowing she she's she she needs to find the right areas to do it at in the middle of the pitch she needs to pass and move and in the attacking area she try she should try to do more of the damage use a skill on the ball which she has yeah so here they, they come charles exchanging passes there and then the ball into briggs briggs is very skillful but she's up against rondo R rondo a battling character williams Oh, and she just plays that ball through. That's Edwards just playing that ball through. The keeper is go going to use her whole area. Quite competent, Cox. Yes. Moisha Cox. She has a long kick as well. Briggs. Still Briggs, but then Kiana Edward from Williams. Huh? The ball punted through. The advantage played. Yeah. She was way offside there, just standing in offside position. By 10 miles. Leticia Nicholas. <laughs> and the referee using his discretion and giving them a water break. Yeah. Good refereeing. Excellent. Of course, the sun is out in all its glory. A change of scenery from the last couple of days in. Yes, sir. I'd love to see this, this sun out. Yeah. For the last couple of days, couldn't have seen the pitch, play the football playing here. Uh, uh, that's a great ball run down save and on the second chance she put it away yeah Antoine there was true it was a good ball there from Kenya Williams it was ju just a teasing kind of ball where the, yeah. the, the, the keeper, keeper is not, not sure, sure sure to come the keeper is not sure of coming or, or to stay and she was just in two minds and yeah in the it end was just is it just just enough time for but to just run on and finish yeah Antoine Antoine yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they did the rest yeah did the rest she got the first saver but the Antoine continue and follow up so the coach though of uh, the Bishop's team she would definitely want to get some further instructions into her girls she'd want to make them know that they're not completely out of this it's a very even contest although San Manor they lead where it matters most on the scorecard uh, for Sawano though, no, it will be more of the same. They'll want to just hold their defensive structure as they have been doing and then look to hit on the counter as they have been doing 
because their pace is definitely giving the, the bishops back line a bit of problems yes sir, the pace of someone of someone not is very troubling here for for bishop i think they they would be in for a long afternoon here yes <laughs> with the pace of these gears the front four five of of of, of San Juan not and yeah and it's our note uh, uh strategy is simple defensively win the ball and then bang it long and get on the end of it charles just playing that one out so it's gonna be uh throwing for San Juan not if you're just joining us and you're wondering what's on your screen you're watching the tiger tank second high schools football league girls intercol action it's the east zone semi-finals here briggs uh, and just having a bit of a foul throw so it's son yeah. one not able to get this train gildin kelly gildin and that's an uh, awful so throw there sure. did she take it on the field <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> the, the the referee just has helping assisting you know and showing uh, demonstrating yeah. to the players uh, the, the throw. Shows, yeah yeah it's, it's it's one of the problems i've had with the uh, the, the girls game uh, throughout the island you know the basics such as the throws and i think we need to do teach the basics before we, we try to get them on to other things yeah you need to really get them doing the basics yeah and they, they call for the handleball <laughs> the the player uh, are they, they wing back position just signaling that it hit um a high uh, on the chest area where the referee was no more than a few meters away he'd have had the best view of it as we see Briggs about to take this one. Megan Briggs. All the Simon Hood players are behind the ball. It's aimed at Martin. She collects. Martin with a shot. Oh, just over the crossbar there. You cannot afford uh, Martin that amount of space. Yes, and that's great touch. Lovely touch. Take shot. Or just over the bar. She just needed to get it under the bar. Yeah. But yeah, you saw her taking that touch. One touch into stride. And then getting a shot off. And uh, San Juan Ode able to play the ball from the back. Stout applying some pressure. And uh, trying to get it to Williams. There was Jacob. As they try to come forward. They're showing good composure at the back, both teams. Yes. Building the ball from the back. Yes, they are trying to play from the back. This will be a retrick. Just. Oh, it's a foul throw again. How long? How many times have we made that? Uh, but it's going to be Robinson. That's a good throw. Robertson winning it. Played through to Williams. The guns playing it to Briggs. Edwards. Edwards just striding through Morella Edwards. Still Edwards. She finds Stout. Oh, heavy touch there by Stout, but it's kept alive. It's in the area. But coming across at the back, Mitchell, Kamora Mitchell. And she just wins it out. And then plays Sol it forward. And she's very solid at the back there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> going down in a bit of slow motion. With Gilding. <laughs> Gilding going down in a bit of slow motion. <laughs> it, it's not funny, but uh, you know, she went down. So, so, a bit like a cartoon. <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> no need for Hannah Barbera. <laughs> and for those who don't know, that's the, the, the animation experts that it did at um, Disney. <laughs> she went down in slow motion but she she seems to be okay he said yeah she she will be fine but you know in in, in these girls games there will be a lot of hard tackling yeah. because of coordination per se yeah they they, they they committed to the tackle yes. and they just can't pull out as easily yeah, as, 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 as the, the guys yeah, as the guys in terms of their coordination they seem to be more injury
Yeah, they, they just can't withdraw from the tackles. <laughs> Ball played long over. And it's just going to be screened out here. So it goes out. And it's going to be a, a goal kick here for San Juan North. Start short again. Yeah, yeah. For Bishop, sorry. Yeah. Bishops yeah, they always start short. Ted Edwards there. That's a squeeze you could always put on them. They don't change it regardless of what happens. And striding forward here is Briggs. She gets past Williams. Ball played through. Not quite sure that that player was offside. That Stout was offside. Would love to see the replay of that one again. player closest who was challenging for the ball yeah, was, was, yeah. Was, was not offside but yeah. i think one of the player was offside look at this here she yeah. was but she was furthest away from, from the ball, ball yes yeah. the ball she yeah. was not having any interfering with the play, play which is the, the new rule in fact not not even the new rule that is the, the rule has been around for a long while the ball plays true oh the keeper drops it oh allowed to play Williams, Williams in the area, showing a lot of skill. Rando, and this is where the trouble takes. And this please. is Martin. She's one on one. Oh. She would try to put a early ball through. So there was the, the penalty call. The, the keeper came, normally quite competent. She dropped it. And she just pulled on uh, the Antoine foot. <laughs> it was a, a clear pull on Antoine's foot. Well, In fact, it was so obvious that, that the players of Bishops, when they got the ball, they stood uh, waiting for the, to hear the referee's whistle. Ref whistle. whistles, yes. Well, the referee didn't see this one. Hmm. We have to see. Ball just cleared out there by Jacob. Showing some skill. Edwards trying to get Martin going. Martin, though, she's just floated out of the game. Oh. And it's going to be San Juan North. Show. So, Bishop's there. Just uh, getting away with one in the area. It's clear for everyone to see. That it was an infringement in the area. But of course, uh, I. But just if I was to give a reason why the referee wouldn't call it, he, he just as we were saying, the girls are normally a bit more. Um, should I say? I don't want to say clumsy, but their coordination in terms of pulling out of challenges are uh, just a bit limited. So probably he took that into consideration when not issuing a, a penalty there. But Nicholas, well, we'll have to see. Maybe he didn't see it. Nicholas, and she just runs out of real estate. I have to say the, the, the referee just missed that one. Well, uh, you're, uh, you're doing a whole lot better than me. And then we're going to see this. That we've come to see Headley is going to play it right there. And uh, not far away, the guns is going to take her time. She's going to choose what she's going to do. Normally she goes to Charles, but that has been marked off. She still goes to Charles. <laughs> so, so Charles picks it up. But just high up. Yeah, just high up the pitch. Uh, I, yeah, they, it's a it's a patented move by the bishops team. We've seen it all season long. Uh, that short uh, play from the goal kick. So Charles gonna take this throw in. Renel Charles Briggs Williams. Oh, getting in the way there. She had to get in the way there. See the of yes, that one as it could have been Edwards almost losing out then she puts it forward there modest very skillful modest Edwards with a bit of a long touch she's not gonna get past the very competent stopper here and then she's gonna look for <laughs> <laughs> so Mitchell, yeah, 
Very competent at the back line for Saturn One Out. She seems to be in the way of bishops in every way possible. Yeah, yeah mm. and she's a, she's an under 15 player. I saw, in fact, the it was the finals of the girls under 15, and she scored a beauty. Very competent at the, the, the back line there, Kamara Mitchell. Briggs. She loses out, huh? The guns winning out. Then she finds Briggs. Or does she find Briggs? No, Antoine. That's a good ball out there to Nicholas. Nicholas one on one with Charles. Charles wins that battle, and then Briggs is able to clean up after her. Briggs trying to clear it upfield. And then she just clears it anywhere will do. So Bishop's totally lo losing the plot now. They're under in the immense pressure. Robinson. Robinson caught in possession. Edwards. Stout. Oh, it's, it was aimed at Stout, but it's cleared back upfield. So they're under pressure here. The Bishops East girls. Strong tackle by Briggs. Great skill here. Yeah, some good skill there by Nicholas. But finally coming and breaking things up there. So the, the pressure being applied. Uh, Martin, Oriel Martin, she's totally disappeared for her team. The Bishops team. I think the, the way I'm seeing it here, for, for bishops to getting uh, get get back into this game, it seems to be from a, from a dead ball situation, a free kick somewhere along the line. Yeah, the passing game has totally gone to pieces. They're not being able to get the ball out of their half in possession. They normally get out like this with a, a hopeful ball at best. Mm, and putting up a big screen there was the number 15 Felix. Modest against Williams but Williams wins that battle Martin comes across Martin trying to go for a run but Williams comes and wins it out puts it into touch there Tia Williams doing the, the good work Robinson finds Edwards Modest Briggs they're trying to get Martin going, but she's always have someone with her. And Tia showing some, uh, and then she just barged over the ball uh, by Edwards. Mm -hmm. Illegally so, says the referee. Uh -huh. Edwards has just used uh, her size there. Yeah, she's, she's normally a bulldozer in the middle of the park as a, a central defensive midfielder. Today, though, she's been nullified a bit. I think uh, the Bishops team, they've been caught by the high press of the Sawanor team. The Sawanor team have played very good tactically. I think, I think they were a well-coached team. Yeah. They, they understand what they need to do to, to, to nullify the Bishop threat here. Kiana Williams. Antoine, can she get it? Uh, just running out of real estate. You know, that's, that's the downhill. Here at Bokyu, this was a, used to be a home training ground. He yes, said, <laughs> with Jablote, so he, he, you, he would know that that I've ball. Played a couple games here, and it's a very difficult ground to play on. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's small too. Yeah, it's, it's small. It's very tricky. Yeah, tricky. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what caught uh, the keeper as well when she she wasn't sure whether to come or go, you know, and was caught in no man's land. And uh, we see the same sequence. Yes. Playing short to the guns, and then they're gonna look for for Charles. Uh, and then it's gonna go out, so it's gonna be another. She's gonna get another opportunity. She should run and get that ball before it goes down the hill. Otherwise, she'll have to <laughs> run all the way down. She learns. Uh, she's a quick learner. <laughs> yeah, well, she should be a quick learner. Bishop is one of the <laughs> top schools for the girls. Yeah. So there seems to be very bright at that school. So she's a quick learner, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> so again, and then they try to get it to Charles. This works this time. Charles will turn and she will try to get upfield. And she did. Yeah, so it's time. working. You see why change something if it's working, but then they, they lose out. And Edwards wins it back here. Charles, with a big ball forward. This is going to be dangerous because a ball in between. Coming out her line quickly, but her clearance 
falls to Martin. Martin tries to pull to a shot. She rushed the shot. Yeah, in the end, just let it go to play there, Cox. Maisha Cox. And then she plays it to the very impressive Mitchell, who finds Williams. Williams turn Edwards skillfully. Uh, but then she looks, oh! And then uh, just uh, the, the, the weight, uh, uh, the, the physical structure there of Edwards, just uh, pushing off Williams off the ball. Uh, it seems like a heavyweight is fighting against a lightweight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely, you know, she was just barged over the ball there. Uh, the referee says illegally, so it's gonna give uh, Kenya Williams another opportunity to put if that I, ball into the danger area. If I was Edwards, I would have said she's too light. <laughs> the definitely, and she would have a case. Yes. Ball played through, and again, uh, the keeper and you're hearing uh, uh, the bishop's players telling the, the keeper, Come out and get it. Yes, yeah, she's just cautious because sometimes that ball just seems to be coming to you and then it could slow up or it could quicken up according she needs to be off a line a bit yeah anticipate the play yeah. and there we see the the display that we're gonna see it again yes Cock and it's headley she's gonna play it to the guns oh the guns with a heavy touch here she can lose out she does good turn inside but then the, the guns Edwards here now, looking to run forward. She's got a room and time, playing that ball wider. And going for a run here. The ball is played through. Cox comes and she claims. And then she uses her area and she barges it upfield. Good take there by Hospitalis. But Briggs yeah. able to win out. And then the double team comes. Hospital is able to exchange passes there with Nicholas. But Briggs winning out. Briggs playing that ball through. Oh, oh. It was aimed at Martin there. Had it gone through. Could have been very dangerous there. Williams. Uh, Tia Williams. Williams in the area. The guns. Uh, she got a shot off, but didn't get much power behind I it. I think the guns, the guns did just enough to put her off. A piece is giving them a lot of trouble here. So they're giving her the instructions here, Headley. Oh, and Headley holding the ball too long there. More than six seconds. A very tough call. I think this is a very tough call here. Yeah, a very tough call on uh, the, the girls here. And they don't even understand that it's an indirect ball. The coach needs to get an instruction out of them. They need to know that... I think this is a very tough call. This referee uh, need to get this right. He, 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 uh, that's a very tough call. I think the six seconds rule is out of. <laughs> yeah, I know it is in the books, but yeah. I think that was a very tough call. Yeah, it's it, it gonna be a whole lot longer than six, six seconds. seconds. Yeah, you know we see we are seeing the World Cup. Yes. Yeah, and we're seeing, but it's gonna be a, 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 a indirect free kick here. I think is he trying to make up for the um the penalty call for the penalty call. And in the end, it's cleared up field. So they're able to maintain. And the ball just banged down field. But guess who's going to be first state? It's Keeper Cox. She can't play with her foot. I oh, but there's a mistake. She finds. And that's the halftime whistle. So at the half in this one. San Juan North, they lead this one goal to nil versus Bishops East in the Tiger Tank Secondary School's Coca Cola Intercol. Action, the girls in the zone, the semi-final. Uh, Sid, your thoughts on the first half? I think Sour North has controlled this game. Um, has been playing a smart game of football here. Have been defending pretty well and using the counter, using their pace up front to give the Bishop High School girls a lot of trouble here. And I think that's a very smart tactic. Use what you have. Defend tight and use your pace. Yeah, well, we have the goal the one that separates these two teams yes and that was a great ball just enough i have to say have the keeper don't know where to go he was in, in no man's land and the player just run on and have and have a, have a shot but she made a good save but the second shot 
she couldn't have do, done anything else. Well, the skipper Shania Antoine, she puts her team up. One goal to nil. We're going to the break. When we come back, we'll have more action live right here on Tiger Sports International.
Welcome back, welcome back to the San Juan North Secondary Schools where the we have action in the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League, the Coca-Cola Intercol, the girls in the East Zone, semi-final action as Bishops, they are up against San Juan North. San Juan North, they lead one goal to nil, a goal scored by Shania Antoine, their captain. So as we get ready for the second half, I'm going to play together with me is the legendary Sid Gray. Sid, I feel very familiar to, to you. Yes, I feel very familiar to me. I think um, bishops have, have the, f the side that I think they would like to go to. Because sometimes when you shoot, the ball seems you're not sure. It dips because it's like a down a hill. Mm -hmm. and I think if they, they use uh, the slope wisely, it could be very dangerous. I yeah. So they'll have that advantage, but it's going to be San Juan North through their skip skipper who's going to get things going here. Um, Shania Antoine, she stands over the ball. She's already put one in the back of the net, and she gets things going. Williams, uh, just going up there, Kenya Williams. So uh, a mistake early in this, this second half. Uh, Bishop still have 40 minutes to get back on level keel, or at least go ahead. This looks like she's lining up to have a shot here. Just as you said, uh, this is the side that the ball dips. He has a shot from early. Uh, easily handled there by goalkeeper Cox. Uh, Cox seems to be very competent in the goal post here. Yeah. And you're hearing one of the players in the field <laughs> saying that that's more than six seconds because they were <laughs> called for six seconds in the first half. And I think the referee has to, to be to be fair because if you be if you call if yeah. be consistent. Yeah. So if you are calling six seconds on one, you need to call six seconds on the other as well. Yeah, well it's they just are fouling the, the the wing back there, yeah, Jacob. And Kenya Williams banging this one upfield. Strong challenge it falls. Sir. And then able to clear. A shot from distance and the keeper able headly able to get her body behind it and then she uses a whole area she will normally throw the ball she finds Briggs and they able to bounce that ball from the back ball played forward it was aimed at Martin and uh, a misclearance falls to Edwards Edwards with the ball through it's a foot race here and using a full composure there, Mitchell, she keeps it in play. Yes, Kamara, Mitchell keeping it in play. And then going out to work on Stout. And then it goes out, it's going to be a goal kick there. So Kamara Mitchell, very competent. She's playing the centre back and she's able to really provide good cover for this Salmon North team. Yeah, she's, she seems to be the, the one to, to stop all the plays here for... For Sawa, Sawa not. She, she's just doing what she, she's supposed to do uh, for them. In the back, control the defense. And she's doing that very well. As we say, we are seeing a lot of bright spots here. Another one of those bright spots here. Looking to go for a run was Nicholas. The Tisha Nicholas, but it goes out of play. And it's going to be a throwing here. So the thing is throwing is gilding. Thrown infield. San Juan North here. Putting on some moves in the center of uh, the midfield. There was Felix. But it's just cut out. It's Williams against Robertson. Normally Williams wins that battle and she does again. But able to come across at the back was Percival and puts it into touch. And they're just uh, telling her to leave it for Jacob. So Kaylee Jacob coming across. Kylie Jacob. Oh, that's a foul throw. Mm, foul throw. You can't turn your body. You have to face. turn your yeah, you have to face throw where you're facing. You can't bring the ball around. Martin. Martin playing the ball long. A bit too hard forward. Williams able to turn. Bang the field. Will be offside. But it goes, Headley comes and she can kick this time. Briggs. Play through. Uh, yeah, just call. 
probably <laughs> the referee just saving a uh, 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 Simon uh, there. Yes, because uh, there seems to be the advantage to be had there with the speedy Harry Lal looking to get through. <laughs> and Cox has gone down and stayed down in goal for San Juanot. Not sure what it is. She doesn't seem to be holding anything. She just has her hand. Uh, it seems to be a bit of cramp. Cramps? From what? <laughs> well, she just came out the goal area and passed with her feet. So probably that, you know, when you're not properly stretched. But she would have played the whole of the first half. So it's a bit of a strange thing. She wouldn't have done excessive running. She hadn't have done any excessive running, so I can't can understand. Is it a, a muscular injury? But, you know, we have seen this season, a lot of players have gone down with cramp. Remember, their first season back after was just about three years but, but not I, playing. I think the referee needs to get hold of this very quickly. Because I can't understand the goalkeeper going down for cramp without doing a lot of action. <laughs> Well, uh, we've also, we also know that um, your diet is very important. Just getting that extra bit of minerals, whether it's salt or potassium. Uh, so probably it's just that. Her coach has come on and given her some uh, instructions though. Edwards here. Ball cleared. Finds to Williams. The other Williams, but she loses out to Briggs. And then they're able to put us one wider here to Modest. Strong chuckle by Kamara there. Very strange, no foul. Yeah, Kamara Mitchell coming across and putting in that challenge. Martin, st still no call. The referee waves his hand until he gets up. And going for a bit of a run here is the captain, Antoine. She's very skillful, she's into the area here. Shot! Oh! Get to the back of the net! Shania Antwine! Using a pace. Using a pace as well. Yeah, she just burst past the defender. After that, it was race on. And she finished the plump. That's great pace. pace. Great composure. And just chipped it over the goalkeeper. That's a great piece of skill. Yeah, an excellent finish there by Shania Antoine. She puts her team further into the lead. Two goals to nil here. San Juan North at the Bukmalaches grounds here. They lead comfortably in this Coca-Cola Intercola action. The semi-finals of the East Zone is their way back for Bishops. I, I, I don't see. Uh, only one, one player I see can do that. But she has to get the ball in the right spot and do the damage up there. She needs to get the service in the right position. But she seems to be drifting out of play in and out of play, but she's not into the game as she should to be co taking control of the game. Yeah, she definitely needs to enforce her, her, her ability, her skills, her, show her presence. Yeah, definitely. So it's going to be a throw in here, Robinson. Mode, Modest. Falls to Martin. Martin in the area. She's been playing only complaints to the referee as well. She's been asking the referee to provide her with a layer of protection as that ball is played through. The guns bangs it back forward. Mitchell. Great touch. Martin. That's a great shot. And just wide there. She goes down again and stays down. And this is where she needs to get the ball most of the time. Around the area. Because she can shoot the ball. Yeah. She's and that's where the, the, the Samuel North team, their strategy is working better for them. So they're going to play it short here to Roxiana Rondon. Cox, she has Rondon there. And then she plays it to Roxiana Rondon. And then she just plays it wider. That's a good building from the back, Gildin. Charles, they are just playing it out of touch. So Charles is going to take this throw. She's asking her players, oh, it's a good long, long throw. And Roxy Rondon just putting it into the touch. 
the coach is chased over and they sat on our team. They're up from their bench. They would have known that their team would have improved as the season has gone on. And just trying to run it out. And then she loses out to Briggs. Edwards plays it into Stout. But she's up against the, the capable Kamara Mitchell. And Mitchell able to compose things. And then she brings it out from the back. Ball played into the danger area. And it's just cleared out there under pressure by Percival. So we're seeing players just warming up at the sidelines. Marcel, Sahara Marcel. I have seen him have making a change here. So, and coming out there. So in comes Sahara. Marcel, she comes in, the number 15. She jogs on and she replaces Anna Marie Modest. So, Bishops East looking to get back in this one. They'll have to get two goals now. And there's a foul through there by Robinson. If you were the coach of uh, the Bishops East team, Sid, what would be your instruction at this point? Try to get the ball to number 10. <laughs> yeah, it's simple. Get the in, ball. In the, yeah. danger, in the danger area. <laughs> More food up the field. Williams. Someone. Yeah, looking to come for a run. Winning out there is Stout. Briggs. The accent. Ah, she's onside. Yes, Sahara Marcel. A bit of a heavy touch. Oh, it's into the area. Quickly out was Cox, but then coming back and clanging it into touch there was Felix. Good defending there. Yeah, Kira Felix just clearing it out. So it goes out. It's going to be a corner. Someone with a bit more pace could have been more dangerous there. Yeah, de definitely. Had she de but she could have put it earlier too into the danger yeah, area the and allow. Yes. Yeah, because both uh, Stout Anna uh, Martin was bearing down goal. I'm not sure who would have made it seemed like Emily Harilal would have come off instead of I'm seeing number 14. Number 14 is off. Oh she oh she's off. Yes, she's just, yes, she's yes. just walking around the field. Yes, she's off. Number 14 is off. Oh yeah. <laughs> because as I saw her with the ball, I thought she was still on. <laughs> so it's gonna be Briggs. Yeah. And Marie doesn't like she does she has left the field, but she wants to be part of the action still, passing pretty close to the ball there at the corner flag. Maybe she wants to make that twelfth man. <laughs> <laughs> twelfth woman in fact. <laughs> well, it's gonna be Briggs. <laughs> Megan Briggs. They, they need to get some kind of an advantage to, to get back into this game. Well they seem to be on the, the cush here. Ball into the area. Kenya Antoine and going for a run here is Nicholas Letitia Nicholas she puts it long and then goes for another bearing run but coming across is the guns and puts it into touch so Letitia Nicholas the gun seems to be one of the bright spot for the bishop He's yes Quite composed at the back, yeah. yes. Charles. Ball still playing. The referee calling the handleball. <laughs> so Charles, she's gonna have the opportunity to take this one. Or is it Briggs? Yeah, Briggs. In fact, it's Charles. A lot of indecision in the yes. Bishop's play today. Yes. That's a bad kick. Martin. Martin. Great still kick. Martin. Great ball into the area. That's a beautiful ball. Oh, she's Great just straight ball. outside. She would have just straight outside. There was Stout. It was a beautiful ball. Great piece of skill as well. Yeah. 
Zarad Stout was just offside there. Yes. But it was good skill yeah. there by Martin. And great vision as well, but she just straight offside. Yes. Was delivered on spot, on target there. So she definitely has to show up for her team here. She doesn't have much more time to assist her team. Briggs. And Twine comes and does good defensive work. But Sar, she's in the area. Oh! And what a call there yeah, by, by the referee. referee. The referee made a call. Look at it again. You decide on screen. It was a beautiful ball by Briggs. Sahara Marcel, the substitute. She got there first. Going down under. That's. It would have been a yeah. foul on her instead. Yeah, exactly. And then the referee calling, bailing out San Juan out there. Antoine, she's been tripped up. I think the referee needs to be more consistent. He had made some questionable calls already for the day. Well, see, you know, I don't like to really. No, I, I, as I'm, see, I'm here. I am here <laughs> to speak the truth. <laughs> and hey, the ball is true. Antoine, a oh, good, good save yeah. there by the keeper. And then it's cleared out here. Briggs, Charles, on the overlap. And it's cut out there by Kamara Mitchell, the impressive Kamara Mitchell. And she just puts it up down there for Williams. William Walls pass. But then she just barged off the ball by Edwards. And Kamara Mitchell wins it back here for her team in an advanced position. Mitchell in the area. And the ball just goes out for a, a, a goal kick. Yes, Mr. Gordon, I, I have to say, I'm here to, to call, call it as I see it. I'm not here to, <laughs> to, to bring down anyone, but just for them to do the right thing. I'm here to, to commentate <laughs> about the game. And if the referee is not doing the right thing to, to make the game a very good game, I will say it. Uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not bringing the game into any disrepute, but I'm just saying, <laughs> if I see something that I think should be done better, I will call it. I, I agree with you there, sir. But when you give me those kind of lines and those kind of tones, you sound like a, another relic, a, another um, man from Rocks, bro. <laughs> you, 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 you sound like the um, the leader of the PDP, <laughs> Mr. Watson. I'm, I'm, not a I'm, not a, I'm not a politician. I'm just calling that I see it. Uh, that line, calling that you see it, is his yes. favorite line. <laughs> so, well, so, I'm, I've, I've, in my playing days, I've, I've been um, known for for quite outspoken play as well i used to be very loud um outspoken against the referees when i see wrong things and i'm not playing now so i will be calling it as i see it still <laughs> well you heard it here on tiger sports international for about tnt international said gray if the referees want to take it personally personal that's up to them but um this is just constructive criticism for me for them to do better well, Sid Gray, former TNT International as well as World Cup player in the 2006 World Cup, the Soka Warriors. Well, he played against England. England today, they're running rampage as they seem to have booked their place into the round of 16 going on on a screen. Said they are being very heavy on the referee. Uh, but definitely, I would say that the referee definitely made some questionable calls, some calls that we would have to um credit to him though he's been questionable on both sides <laughs> on both sides yes on both sides so i'm not saying he's he's, he's bias, yeah. bias in any way i'm just saying the cause needs to be consistent consistent and much better yeah so here comes um ah that's a good turn there by that's, nicholas yes that's great skill there ball into the area and then this comes out and it's going to be a corner here for san or not so if you're just joining us, you're watching the Tiger Tank Soccer Day Schools Football League Coca-Cola Intercola Action. It's the semi-finals of the girls in the East Zone. It's San Juan out. They are in green. They lead two goals to nil. They got their two goals off the boot of their impressive skipper, 
Shania Antoine. As we see, the equally sure. impressive uh, Kamara Mitchell going to take th this corner. Uh, so the two Simon Out players just yards away from each other. She plays it, and there's a ball across the area. Oh, just cleared out there by Charles. It looked to be sneaking the first post there. I thought I thought this one was just sneaking in. Oh. And the, 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 the keeper was in no position. Had that get past uh, 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 Charles? No, Charles, yeah. it seems we might have got a, a, a coat here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for for Belgium. They, they try it again. Ball into the area. And that's goal. Oh. And Charles <laughs> able to, to save things I, again. I, I already, already called it there. I swear this one was goal number three. And look at it again. It was into the area. Oh, just the bounce. And you're seeing one of the Salmon North players have gone down with cramp. That's number 15, Felix. Kimara Felix, she is gone down. And she's taking off her boots. That's uh, one of the, the, the no-nos when dealing with, with cramp. But <laughs> then uh, when you don't know better, you, she just dragging off her, her boots there. She, she, she seems to be in a lot of discomfort there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he when those hamstrings tighten up on you, <laughs> and you're not accustomed to that, it's, it's something that uh, we know it on the field. We also know it when we're sleeping, sleeping after a hard game. Yeah, after a hard game, yes. <laughs> and you catch cramp uh, sleeping, there's nothing worse than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so she stayed down. You Kimara can, Felix. Can she see a bit of discomfort with these cramps? Yeah, she, yes. <laughs> Maybe it's a full scramp. <laughs> yeah, full scramp on the legs. Yeah, so she's definitely being stretched out there. On those ham on those hamstrings. Yeah, those hamstrings <laughs> by my my me. You know, I remember those days. Yeah. Diving off the bed. And then when you hit the ground, you can't really um, keep up. So you have to lie down on the ground. <laughs> Yes, so she's really ringing in pain there and discomfort. So, besides stretching, you need to get the, the, the fluids out there. Yes, you know, I and the yes, physio. I think the physio yeah. needs to be walking with some fluid. You need to walk with your fluid as well oh, as. Oh, no, the, no. And this is the way how they're, she's they're jogging off the field. Yeah, not, the good. So, yeah, the yeah good, it's not a good good sign. Yeah, the good old salt prune. Yeah. You know, you, you walk with your salt prune. Of course, the, uh, the banana in the, uh, in the kit as well. In the physio kit is also important just to get that potassium in. But in the meantime, ah, strong tackle. Martin, but she's doing all the work in, a, in, a, in, a, in the wrong areas. Wrong areas. And then That's she puts a, a raking ball. ball through. But the keeper is out. Yeah, keeper Cox could read the game very well. And she he could also play out. I saw her play out a couple of games as well. So she is also could play out. Fine stout. And it's going to be another throw. So with just about 17 minutes plus whatever time would be added on find stout here again what will stout do she's up against the impressive mitchell and kamara mitchell there uh, she'll go for a bit of a run here because she doesn't seem to have anybody forward and then the ball just cleared forward anyway will do briggs ball just cleared up feel Great touch. Briggs. Too Still much Briggs. Players. Too much players around. Edwards. That ball just cleared out there by Jacob. It's going to be a throwing here. San Juan has figured out this bishop side. The captain, every time she picks the balls up, she's crowded. Yeah. The number 10, Ed, she's yeah. crowded. Yeah. So they know these are the two danger players. Yeah, so it's Martin and, and the, the captain Briggs. Briggs, there. yes. Yeah. They totally been marked out of the game. game yes. Yeah, they, they they want somebody else to come and be them, and that's that's intelligent. That's intelligent yeah. strategy. strategy there. 
Ball thrown and call for the infringement there is Martin. You saw her just pushing off on the, the player. She's definitely, you know, she's allowed the, 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 the calling of the game to get to her. She's also floated in and out of being very active in the game. She needs to step up here. She needs to be the, the, the marquee player. She is the marquee the player. player. But she needs to step up yeah. when, 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 when the, her side needs her the most. Yeah. Williams. Robinson. Briggs. This time Briggs has some room. What would she do? She's looking for movement. And she's very uh, going down there, Letitia Nichols. She goes down there in a heap. Charles gingerly walks over her. Ch Charles is a very strong. Yeah, Charles is a very robust competitor. Yes. Uh, she's been good for her team. Uh, they are at the wing back position. Takes, takes, no pris takes no prisoners. Remind you of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. yes. That back line of Sid Gray, Ian Gray. <laughs> At that time, you, 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 you're fearful <laughs> to go in there. You must be fearful. This is going to be dangerous. The keeper comes and she claims though. Headley. Yeah, she's been struck. And yeah, good refereeing there though. We, he, she'd been struck on the shoulder. She was limping. He realized that uh, all was not well with her, and he just call, he just called uh, the play to stop. Some of her, some of some of the referee good call there. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, I hope he can get back in your good graces. <laughs> no, he's in my good graces. I don't have any um, I don't have any problem. But I'm just saying, you know, um, yeah, when yeah, I yeah. see yeah, no, wrong, definitely. Yes, I, you know, we just need to call it as we see it, you know. Yeah, I'm definitely agreeing with you, uh, uh, Sid. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm just poking some fun at you here as we have a, a, a really good game. As we see the goals here again, this, uh, that ball was played uh, through. Uh, as, we, as we say, um, the referee, uh, referees and them are, are, are human. They're entitled to make mistakes, but we need to see some better consistency. That's all I'm asking for. So it was Antoine in the first half, and then she was in the second half, just skipping past some challenges here. And then what a composed finish right. there, Sid Gray. Yes. I think enough has not been said about that finish. Yeah, that, that, was a, I said, that was a marvelous finish. Yeah. Couldn't ask for anything better. In my striking days, I would have been proud of myself. <laughs> something like that. You know? <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a bum ball and Headley. And she points it downfield. She finds Martin. Onella Martin. She's got three for company. In the defensive third. And then that ball is banged forward. Guns putting it upfield goes out, so it's gonna be a train here to San Juan North. They'll take their time, Gilden Kylie Gilden, as we see a substitution about to be made. And coming in, the number five that's Pereira Maya Pereira, normally a starter here. She replaces uh, Felix, who went down with cramp. And Rondo, Rondon, just playing that ball off the player and into touch. So it's going to be a train. Kenya Williams. A heavy touch. Oh, she's in. She's in the area. Yeah, great defending there. Great cleaning up. So Charles. Uh, and then it comes out. It's going to be a corner. She should have just cleared up field. So it was Hospitalis. Shemaya Hospitalis was in the area. So we're going to see another familiar set play. As Kamara is going to play it short to Kenya. And then they're going to try to put it long. So they're going to just play it short and then hit it over. The guns banging it upfield, but Kamara Mitchell has stayed up. And she puts it into the danger area. But Briggs able to win out. She finds Stout. Stout with some room here. Briggs. Ball aimed at Sarah. 
Sahara, she wins out. Nicholas, Nicholas going for a run. She loves to put on her shoulder and go for that runner. Oh, but she just runs out of real estate. She's been a willing runner. She's done it early and often. Ball across the area. She's definitely offside. She's offside. By two miles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the proverbial two miles. <laughs> and Edwards to take this kick in here. So, so this game has been uh, entertaining. You know, it's football is and sports is about matchups, and this matchup has been a, a matchup that has provided us with ample entertainment here. Yes, it has provided us a lot of entertainment, and this is where. You, you yeah. Hospital is putting on her big screen, her movie tongue screen. That's ball a play great ball here. She's on side, Saraya. And that's a, a beautiful ball call. through. A shot. Uh. Week one. Since she has come on, she has been looking pretty well. Yeah. Doing pretty well for, for yeah. bishops. Sahara S Marcel, Sa yeah. Yes, Miss Marcel, yes. She's definitely provides some wit and she's also some always pace. willing. Yeah. Yes, a willing runner. Willing runner. And there she puts that as a good a smart, early ball. Yeah, a smart playing. Yeah, she caught uh, Kamara Mitchell in two in no man's land. Ball play through. Falls to Edwards. Edwards. Shot from distance. She's that, not one, uh, that one troubles goalkeeper there. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen Cox to be very competent. She just gobbles it up. Maisha Cox. And then she used this her whole area. And as much time as she's possible. Ball cleared up field. And it falls. A bit of a handle ball there. Quickly taken. And Martin just gives up on it. Oriel Martin. But then coming back and winning it. Briggs. And going down and staying down. There is Jacob. Afia Jacob. So we inside the final 10 minutes. Just about 8 minutes plus whatever time would be added on. Another player has gone down with a bit of cramp. A fear, Jacob. Well, you know, these are the, the, the things that we have been seeing all season. So, I yeah. wonder how many injured time will be played. Well, will we get injured time like, like the World Cup? Well, I was just about to say that. I say, judging from the World Cup, where we've seen double digits in due time, you know, stoppage time, uh, you could see some added on time. But if you look at what was done in the first half, we'll see that the referee is calling it almost immediately. So is he, is he a busy guy? He needs to go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to get it over before the lights so. out. <laughs> well, uh, so that I, I would not <laughs> cast any <laughs> aspersions. <laughs> so you'll wait to see if any added on time would be. Played. I'm not casting aspersions. I'm just having some fun. I'm just having some fun. Here. Yeah, of course. It's a, it, uh, uh, you know, it's a, a good evening here. Uh, November the, the 29th, this season of uh, the secondary school, the Tiger Tang Secondary School Football League. Really coming to the business end of things where we're crowning champions, where people are, uh, it's really has been an interesting, you know, return to, to play after the COVID, uh, the COVID pandemic. Yeah, yes, it is very interesting. You know, I, I'm glad to see football back out and I'm glad to see football after a couple of days of heavy shower and we have some nice sunlight still. So I'm, I'm glad to see some football playing. Yeah. So it's Briggs here. Megan Briggs, she drags past one. She can shoot the ball. She's trying to get it on her strong foot. But then Williams wins it and clears it upfield. The guns just bangs it back upfield. Charles <laughs> just coming there. Tracking her way through. And there she uh, call for the foul. The late challenge there. It was Charles who had found the way upfield. Arena Charles, she definitely been fighting. I think, I think, I think this is a, it's a chewing, not a foul. Oh yeah, it's going to be a throwing there for so Charles is going to take it. Yeah, she has a long throw. The ball into the area. Uh, that was Emily Harry, 
and, and cleared out there by Mitchell. And Bishop seems to be piling a little pressure in the last six minutes here. Yeah, well, they're finishing strongly here, credit to them. And I think uh, uh, that has come a, a lot from the, the energy shown by Charles for, at the right back position. Also, um, Briggs in the midfield. And she's here, she's again. Yeah, she's definitely played with a lot of heart. Briggs wins out. Briggs with a shot from the stands. Not bad. And it's just just went, went wide. It's just wide, yeah. So, Bishop's finishing strongly here. They'll need to get back a goal and get back one quickly. Very quickly. And you know when you get one goal, you can get two. Yeah, Very they, quickly. We, we, we know that. The story of football. Cox. Oh! Oh, <laughs> it's off the post. The ball's still not clear. <laughs> this, this could have been one of the most bizarre goals I have ever seen. <laughs> Cox <laughs> dancing around the ball and then making a pass that came off the upright. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well. We see her going down there. She would be thankful that it hit the, the wrong side of the, the upright. <laughs> And it's going to be a, a, a goal kick. She has, been do, she has been playing very well today. And that I think that was one of her first mistakes of the game. <laughs> oh, almost what a costly mistake there. Very costly. As we all know, keepers, they have the unlucky privilege of being the hero if they, they, they do well. But any time they miss, they can be the villain. Very quickly. Trying to string passes together. Briggs. Emily Harilal. Charles. Strong ch tackle. Oh. Call for the wow. infringement. And uh, full time, uh, USA have beaten Iran in the World Cup. They booked their place in the round of 16. They'll be joined, I think, by England. So they'll book their place into the wrong 16. First yellow card of the game. Yeah, Charles finds himself in the referee's book. Yeah. The fans are, are, are at the ground here. Not very happy with the quality of refereeing. But that's a topic for another day. In the meantime, standing over this one, Kenya Williams. Ball played over the top. The keeper Headley comes and she claims confidently. Oh, and then a miss kick. But it's cleared up field. Briggs, she finds Martin. What will Martin do? She finds Mitchell. Um, Marcel, sorry. Marcel keeps it in play. Bola across. Easily handled by Cox. So time beginning to wind down in this one. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Tiger Town Secondary School Football League. Coca-Cola Intercola Action. It's the Girls East Zone semi-final. We've got Bishops. They are in red. They find themselves down two goals to nil versus San Juan North. Shot from distance. In fact, it's aimed at Nicholas. Nicholas up against the guns. Ah, oh, good skill there by Nicholas. Nicholas with a shot. Oh, that's great, great save there yeah. by Headley. Nicholas with the opportunity there. It was a good turn there yes. by Nicholas going past the guns. And then she just put it in on the first post, but making a good save with her feet was goalkeeper Renelli Headley. And it is heating it up in the last couple of minutes here. Yeah, the, the, this game has finished with a, a lot of action. Kamara Mitchell. And they just going to take the short corner.
ball into the area Briggs Briggs bringing it forward ball played up field the gun she's come a little bit forward Martin ball just going on a play so not much more time left in this one ah oh, she's walked onto the field she's done everything wrong she's walked onto the field foot, to take the throw. foot off the foot, foot off, off, the ground. The, off the ground <laughs> not sure how much time will uh, be played well it seems that it's been signaled six minutes of added on time Martin Martin looking to go for a bit of a run still Martin still Martin she's in the area Madam oh, brilliant save by Cox this is where she has to do her damage yeah she should have at least finished there and now winning out there at the back is Williams Tia Williams she's up against Edwards that ball going out of play so it's when, gonna be when, a throw when she's running at defenders this they cannot seems not to stop her look at this piece of skill here one two beat one into the box great left foot shot but keeper just did just enough yeah, it had a lot of power on it very yes a lot of power there as they just sharing it's been a physical encounter uh if any credit goes to the referee he definitely has maintained control of the game you know the, the teams have not gotten overly physical he's made a lot of questionable calls uh but that's a, a, a discussion for another time well, no no that's a discussion anytime <laughs> edwards would well, that, <laughs> well i have to see if we are talking about it let's let's continue talking about it <laughs> But let's do let this overshadow the great game that we have seen here today. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a lot of positive things we've seen on the, the on pitch. pitch. Yes, yeah. uh, we've seen the, the number ten on both sides, uh, both Martin or Real Martin for Bishops and uh, Shania uh, uh, and Sh Shania Sh Shania Antoine. Shania Antoine has, has shown great brilliance here. Have shown a lot of skill, uh, and and they are one for the future. Those to uh, 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 have to be taken care of yeah. and put in the right environment and the right coaches hands to develop them to make our country proud in the future yeah you, you wouldn't want to forget the 15 year old or oh, she's under 15 i don't not sure how much under 15 she is but uh kamara mitchell yes yeah, the, as well yes yes very good player robinson getting back there she loses out there to Williams. Williams with a shot. It's still in play. The guns. She's also being competent for her team. Yes. And then it gives it away. Williams finds Antoine. And the guns again. And that's a shot from the stands. Oh, just flashing wide there by uh, Kenya Williams. You're gonna see the, the normal sequence here. She's gonna put it short and she's gonna get to the guns. The guns is gonna try to get up line to Charles, but it's cut out. There it goes in the touch, so it's gonna be a throw in there to Bishops. Charles is gonna get the opportunity to take it. We see that she has a bit of a long throw in her. That's a long throw. She's a strong, strong, strong girl. Yeah. Just sent back there by the referee Stephen Jones. Then he chews it up. Nicholas looking to go forward. There's the guns again. Yeah. The guns, her positioning is, is excellent. She's able to position herself uh, well. Uh, she controls things at the back. I think the, this Bishop's team, today they didn't show up. I've not seen them play this flat 
in a while. Uh, you know, maybe you, you saw a better, a better drill, San Juan North, that took them out of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're passing game, so. I, 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 I stand corrected here. Yeah, definitely, the, the tactics of the San Juan North team definitely took the Bishops team out of their game. They were not able to get their normal passing game going. Their two central midfielders, uh, Briggs and Edwards, they were mere spectators for a majority of the game. And then the, the, the impressive uh, number 10. Uh, as you see Briggs there, she's just been ushered off. And what, what happened there is just what has been happening all game. All, all game. Yeah. She always has two for company. So Martin looking to get into the area here. Still Martin. Still Martin. And she can't shoot with both feet. And this time she A scores. Beautiful finish. Finish, finish this by time. Ariel Martin. This is where she has to do it. Take it, take it at them. Yeah. So with one more minute to, 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 left to be played in the added on time and there we saw martin yeah great skill have have them have them don't know where to go great inside and great finish there yeah she and she can't finish with both, both feet. feet yes uh, you know she just was out of a game here today uh normally well she just no i'm not saying she was she just needs to do it more regular yeah for me just do it more regular and she needs to be in the game at all the time she's she's a better player than that she needs to be in the game every time to give impact on on, on on her team well not much more time left in this one and that's the final whistle strike the final whistle in this one San Juan no they book their place into the finals they win two goals to one here they got the two goals of the impressive skipper Shania Antoine the response fashion later by the impressive Oriel Martin as we have the goals. Yes. Great run. Great save by the keeper, but the rebound, that's the second one. So great I'm, goal. I'm and I'm this one just outrun everyone. A great composure. And just get it over to the keeper. That's goal number two. An excellent finish. Finish there. And this is a great run here. Look at her. Drifting, weaving, bobbing, takes on the defense and just curl it in the far corner. Yeah. That's an excellent finish. They left footed too. So if yes. the other two goals were good, yes. they saved the best for last. Yes. But in the end, San Juan North, they booked their place into the East Zone Coca Cola Girls Intercal final. They'll meet someone to be decided. Well, from all of us here, I want to thank you for viewing another edition of the Tiger Tanks Secondary Schools Football League. Coca-Cola Girls action. So good night and be safe.